Uh, Chris Chinock here at uh, Display Week 2014. I'm here in the BP Dynamics uh, booth uh, where we're looking at over here is a 28-inch uh, a uh, 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 quad. Well, it's, it's called a, uh, a base basically a virtual uh, 4K display. And it also integrates the 3M uh, 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 quantum dot film as well so it can achieve wide color gamut, uh, and which helps reduce power. Now, this is an example of... of, of a, a different, it's not a native uh, UHD TV uh, panel. Uh, so what they do here is their pixel arrangement is uh, in a quad configuration, RGBW, in a quad configuration, so uh, in a square essentially. And then they arrange the, if you count those pixels, it becomes actually 1920 by 1080. Uh, so it's 1920 by RGBW uh, in a quad configuration is the actual native resolution of this panel. So it can run fine uh, at a uh, native resolution of full HD. Uh, you'll get pixel accuracy. Uh, and even with the, w with the white pixel, now you can get extra brightness. And because it has the quantum dot uh, film, it will also be white color gamut. So it's really a very good full HD uh, monitor, uh, white color gamut monitor. Uh, but in addition, then they add sub-pixel rendering uh, so what they claim is, is virtual uh, UHD resolution uh, as well. So this is uh, clearly uh, a controversial issue, uh, whether you can call this true uh, uh, UHD display or not. Um, now, it's not going to meet the criteria, for example, if you want to do a, uh, a single pixel uh, white line or blue line, you cannot do this in UHD resolution with this panel because of the sub-pixel rendering. Uh, however, if you're a consumer and you want to watch um, uh, UHD video, uh, in this mode it may be quite acceptable uh, because of the way you can, they can use the algorithms and the configuration of the, of the uh, subpixels uh, to render something that's close to, uh, uh, to the reality of, of UHD. It's not actual, uh, but it's virtual. Uh, so this panel is being manufactured by uh, uh, a company that, that, that actually Foxconn has invested in the company. Uh, and being manufactured uh, in Shenzhen uh, and assembled uh, there. Uh, then uh, there's a, a, a j Japanese chip company uh, that provides the TCON for integrating this, the solution. Uh, this is supposed to be available in sometime Q4 this year for probably under $1,000. So uh, it's clearly not a uh, reference grade studio monitor, but something that's aimed at, at, at consumers or perhaps computer users. Um, uh, but again, if you want to get into line accurate uh, resolution and display, uh, this is not the product for you by a, by a uh, pixel accurate monitor. Uh, Chris Chinock for Display Central.